Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am going to talk about the increment and decrement things in Java. So this is my main class. So the public class is public class main and this is my main method. So let's say I have an integer variable, let's say integer x equal to 50. And if I want to print it, obviously I would get 50 printed in the terminal. Now, let's say I want to increment the value of x by 1. So, I can do that in many ways. Let's say I can update the value and keep the updated value to x itself. Therefore, it would be x equal to x plus 1. And now, if I simply run this, you see the value has been updated. I mean, incremented by 1 and the current value is 51 instead of 50 because I have incremented the value of x by 1. All right. Now, what we normally do, we don't use this type of increment. If we want to increment the value by 1 or decrement the value of 1, uh, by 1 I mean, we use this, this increment operator. Now, if I simply use this x++, plus plus, it actually identifies this x equal to x plus 1, like this. Now, let me simply run this again. You see that I am getting 51. Cool, right? Now, let me simply do another thing. Instead of writing x plus plus, if I simply write plus plus x, let me show you how it works. If I simply run this, we are getting the exact same result. But these two are not the same. How is that? Let me simply tell you again before explaining to that. x plus plus, we call it post increment. Let me simply comment it out so that it won't break my code. x++, we call it post increment because we are incrementing after. All right. And plus plus x, we call it pre increment. And the same thing is also applicable for the minus minus. Let's say x minus minus is post decrement and minus minus x is pre decrement now you see in this code the result doesn't change whether i use uh, the post increment or the pre increment but as i was telling you earlier those two are not the same now let me show you some differences all right so let's say uh, as earlier let me simply comment it out again so, all right. <laughs> so let's say my value of x is 50. If I simply run this, you see the value is 50. Cool. Now let's say I'm going to declare another variable. Let's say integer y. And here I am uh, providing the value for y would be post increment of x. That means x plus plus. All right. Now let me simply print the value for both the x and y. And let me show you how that works. So, like this. Now, if I simply run this, you see the value of x is incremented to 50, but the value of y, sorry, the value of x is incremented from 50 to 51, but the value of y is 50. Why is that? Let me simply explain it to you. Here I used post increment. That means in line number 6, y equal to x plus plus. As I am using the post increment, that means firstly the value of x would get copied to y. That means the value of x was 50. So, 50 is getting stored in y. Then x would increment itself. So, the whole scenario is kind of like this. The value of x is 50, cool, in line number 6, y equal to x plus plus post increment so i need to assign the value of x to y first then i would increment the value of x into itself therefore the value 50 get assigned to y and then x plus plus as it is a post increment the value of x gets incremented therefore the value of x becomes 51 but as it was an post increment the y took earlier value of x, that means 50. So, therefore, the value of y is still 50. So, you see the difference between post increment. Let me simply uh, 
write comment here like this post increment increment and now let me simply show you p increment let me simply copy this and yeah all right let me simply comment everything here cool now i'm gonna use p increment and let me simply run it again and show you how it works you see now the value of x and y both becomes incremented from 50 to 51 how is that possible let me simply explain it to you here i have used p increment so that means the increment would happen initially all right earlier we used post increment that means the increment used to happen later but here as i used p increment the incrementation process would happen initially earlier all right so here x uh, is 50 and in line number 13 i'm assigning plus plus x to y that means before assigning the value to y x is getting incremented by one that means the value of x is changing from 50 to 51 and 51 is printed i mean 51 value is getting copied into y so y becomes 51 and as the x also is getting incremented by one so x is also becoming 51 therefore the output is like this so you get the point right now let me simply also provide you post decrement and pre decrement so let's say post decrement integer y equal to x minus minus and let me simply copy this all right now before running it let me simply clarify how it should work the value of x is 50 and here i am using post decrement that means the earlier value would get copied to y and after that the value of x would get changed so the value of y should be 50 but the value of x should be 49 let's see how it works you see it works exactly how i describe it to you and now um yep now it's time to show you the p decrement all right so it would be p decrement that means like this now let me simply explain how it should work the value of x is 50 but i have used p decrement that so that the value would get updated firstly then uh, everything else would occur so the value of x is getting reduced from 50 to 49 and 49 is getting copied to y therefore the value of x and y both would be 49 you see this works exactly how i told it how i told you that it would work all right now this is the video don't worry about the code the code uh is available on the video's description so thank you everyone if you like this video make sure to subscribe to this channel share it with your friends and if you want to follow me you can do that in um, gitlab github linkedin facebook twitter instagram i provide all the link in this video's description box so that's it everyone thank you and i will see you in another video till then take care